What's going on guys? Chad, Boondock. We're getting ready to go for a little ride. It's uh, what is today? Tuesday. No, today's Wednesday. Wednesday morning. We worked a overnight case last night, so I'm just getting home and decided to go ahead and top off the fuel in the motorhome. We're only about a quarter tank low. We got three quarters of a tank, but winter time's here. Temperatures are about to drop, and you never know. Might lose power some this winter. Who knows what could happen? Gas prices are low right now. So I'm going to ride out and just top off. Figured I'd uh, take you along. Try out a little different setup here with the cameras. I've got my GoPro set up back here on my stove pipe since the stove's not on right now. So I'm going to, let's see. Got the remote. We'll start that one up right now. All right, so the GoPro is recording. I don't know how any of this is going to work, but let's go for a ride. Oh, I forgot something. Now we're good. We don't want to lose our antenna. Need to pick up some power steering fluid too. I can tell this thing's whining a little bit. Noticed it does that in the winter time. I'm also draining my tank right now, my fresh water tank. It's got a little, just a drain valve at the, at the end line. And I haven't done this in a while. Just to get some of that sediment that settles at the bottom of the tank, splosh it around and drain it out. When I get back home, I'll fill it back up. But old Boondock's been riding all night. He went with me to work. We weren't too far away. We were only about an hour from home. Ended up taking the Denali last night and slept in the truck. I've been having a hard time getting up early. So I figured instead of chancing it and being late, this was one of those cases I couldn't be late. If I was gonna be late, there was no point in even going, so. Didn't wanna chance it. Let's see if we can squeeze up in here. Oh, that car is not going to help us none. No, that's just not going to work. We're going to have to go somewhere else. Too crowded in that little spot. Well, that's one of the downfalls of a almost 40 foot Class A motorhome versus a 20 some foot Class C or a 18, 20 foot Class B. You just can't go everywhere. So luckily I've got two other options here. I'm gonna cross one over the highway and I'll, uh, this will give me an opportunity to show you guys something too. I used to own a business right here off the highway about seven, eight years ago, back when I was married. Had an auto repair shop. It did well for a few years, but Things didn't work out with the marriage and that caused some problems with the business itself. So ended up selling the business to a good friend of mine at the time and he stayed there for a couple of years and things didn't work out for him either so now it's run by someone else. But 
You'll see right here on the right, as soon as we cross over the highway, a large red service station. It had sold auto parts and had six bays. It was a, it was fun. Learned a lot from that experience, but right there on the right, Gum Spring Auto. Oh, look, we got another Class A here. Trying to maneuver this bad boy around. Luckily, this is a truck stop, so we've got plenty of room here. Might try to do a little marketing on this guy here at the pumps. See if he needs any service done while he's passing through town. Work has been slow. I want to tell y'all something, too. I just found out last night that's kind of got me a little upset. I'm not sure whether I have the right to be upset or not, but I've been running my ad on Craigslist. That's the shop that I ran several years ago. But I've been running my little ad that I've typed up on Craigslist. And when I first started running this thing, I was getting 15, 20 calls and four or five jobs off of this thing. It was great. Well, now I've noticed I've been running the ad probably twice a month and somebody's flagging it for removal so the ad won't stay up but a day or so and then it gets deleted. I need to figure this out. It's kind of bothering me. Oh, some great guys right there. Well, it's one guy traveling with his wife and a, a friend of the family and they're coming from upstate New York heading down to Florida for the winter. So they've, uh, they've got a good little trip ahead of them but very nice folks. Told them about the YouTube channel, so hopefully they'll check that out and have us a new viewer. Kind of had to rush. There was somebody waiting in line to get to the pumps. Could have sat there and chatted a little longer, but... Well, I was only a quarter tank low. I didn't think it was going to take but $40, $50 to fill it up. Ended up taking over a hundred, and I'm still not... The gauge shows I'm past full, but I went a penny over, so now I've got to run inside and give them a penny. But, hey, at least we're full now. Won't have to worry about fuel for the winter. All right. The tent guy came back last night and finished off my window tent. So all the windows are done. I'm not doing the two bedrooms for now. Figured I'm uh, have a hard enough time waking up in the morning, so I want to use the sunlight to help me with that. But very pleased, extremely happy with the window tent. I know it's uh, a lot of people, you know, might disagree with it, but I, I can tell. I mean, summertime especially, it's going to really keep that thing a whole lot cooler. But something to consider, especially if you're in a warmer climate. I've got my tank draining now. I'm sure a lot of people that get behind me on the road, they think I'm leaking fuel or probably don't know that I'm doing this, but it'll be alright. Uh, just a quick look at the outside. It's nice to get out and go for a little ride. I'd like to plan a trip soon. I need to do some marketing at some of my local campgrounds just to hand out some business cards and try to get some work. Well, we could have saved a couple of dollars by going to the Sitco, and that's where I prefer to buy my fuel, but I just couldn't fit in the parking lot at the time. Margo, you're going to have to make room for me next time.
<sighs> All righty. Well, that was a fun trip. Thanks for riding. Hope y'all enjoyed it. I know I enjoyed making it. I will talk to you guys later.